Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, except he accidentally launched the wrong game and now you have a black screen while Nuclear Throne closes and Rebirth opens and there we go. Alright. Last run was fine. Nothing wrong with it. We're building the new streak. We're going around the cycle. Maggie. NLVZ. Q3EV. If you're wondering... That was not nearly enough time. Why am I in such a rush, man? Because it is such a rush! Oh. If you're wondering why I'm doing the all-character cycle, it's because we've been doing Eden runs and fudging up, like, pretty badly. Ooh, I I like both of these enough. Mostly Guppy's Collar because it's a Guppy item. And Demon Baby because... Oh, I'm an idiot. Demon Baby because it's half-decent and also comes with, uh... Well, because we're Maggie, we started with a decent amount of HP. It doesn't come with anything extra, but... I think Demon Baby's, like, just on the cusp of being okay for us, like, worth a third of our HP, basically, uh, when we're at this level, and, uh, I don't dislike it. Let's see what we get in our item room. Now I'm like, more HP wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but we'll see. For now, we don't really have to sweat it too much. Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing all character cycles for now. We'll skip Azazel, if I remember to. Don't, don't be mad if I forget. It's not because I necessarily want to do an Azazel run, just because, you know, I, I can't guarantee that three days from now I'll remember exactly what I'm saying right now, but... My intention would be to skip Azazel, and of course we'll skip the Lost as well. We did just do some Lost runs. I got very lucky to not get hit there. Um, we'll use the Awaz rune right now. Didn't work out. My other thinking was that maybe we'll save the Awaz rune for the next floor, and if we find a crawl space, we'll be able to use... Or sorry, if we find a curse room, we'll be able to use the Awaz rune on the curse room, and thus exit without taking more damage, but... Doesn't matter one way or the other. We just got two Spirit Hearts and a Hierophant card to back it up. I don't see a reason not to take the Hierophant card right now. I also sort of don't see a reason to take the Hierophant card right now, so I'm just gonna hold it. Try not to pick up, like, little baggy by accident and completely squander it, but... Um, we've actually got, like, a pretty potent run going here. We know we're gonna get Steven or, uh, Little Steven. Either one of those accomplish a pretty similar thing for us, so... I'm not, uh, gonna sweat it one way or the other. Probably rather have regular Steven, although Little Steven, considering we already have a couple of, uh... For lack of a better word, familiars. Like, Demon Baby is a familiar. I don't know if Little Chub gets a bonus from BFF, but, you know, the more familiars we get, the more BFF actually looks attractive to us, but... Cool, we're down to the next floor. Nothing wrong with this one so far. Being on the cellar scares me a little bit, but we can sacrifice one Spirit Heart to go to our Curse Room right off the bat. And we got to our deal with the Devil right away, and... I'm happy to take it. No extra Spirit Hearts, which scares me a little bit, but we did get Spirit of the Night. Spirit of the Night is a, uh... It's a good get. I do think it makes our tiers smaller. I don't think it comes with a damage bonus, but it lowers the hitbox. Like a damage penalty, I should say, but it seems to uh, lower the hitbox. We also are completely out of HP. Was it worth it for the haul that we got? I don't know. <laughs> That's an interesting question, I guess. That's kind of what this run's gonna come down to, but I'm happy with the, the utility that we've gotten out of our items right off the bat, and uh, I know, of course, that we have Deal with the Devil Precedent dating back to the first floor, so we should have more chances, assuming we get more HP at some point, we should have more chances to, you know, make the Guppy Dream come true and get those extra damage bonuses that we'd probably consider pretty important if we're gonna have a good chance of succeeding, but, you know, thanks for the game for giving us the opportunity to, you know, have so much HP and actually take advantage of it early on. Much better than a Maggie run where, you know, you start with 4 HP but never get a chance to give any away because of, uh, the fact that, uh, you know, you just get, like, red chests on a deal with the devil or something like that. And, I mean, you can see that we're pretty potent here right off the bat. Uh, Little Steven and Little Chub and Demon Baby are gonna get worse as the game goes along. Like, they're not gonna literally erode, but, you know, they, their usefulness will erode. Uh, as we fight tougher and tougher enemies. Common Cold is fine, especially without another tier effect. Not my favorite item anymore. Uh, it never was my absolute favorite item, but, um... It's fallen down the power rankings for me a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with it, necessarily. Except it does, uh, cannibalize, uh... You know, better tier effects, but we don't have those yet, so we don't have to sweat it. Lemon Party. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. I would really like to get some HP back from this boss fight, if it's at all possible. But apart from that, I'm feeling really good. Hopefully this ends up being a, a relatively easy fight. It is the second hardest as far as I'm concerned, but I actually feel like we should be able to tear up the ghost pretty easily. You know, we've got enough bombs here. Demon Baby kind of pushed my bomb out of the way, but uh, we got through it anyway. And I think Little Chub is going to be like our best friend here, yeah. Especially if we can slow down the haunt as Little Chub is coming through. Seems like it's working really well. Demon Baby, a little bit like a step behind here, but that's okay. We're done, didn't take any damage, and we get Pageant Boy. Little, little bit of yucky there. 
Might as well, I think, take the extra time to check out our secret room. I've been a little bit fast and loose on this run so far. Um, we might as well see if maybe we can get BFFs or... Yeah, actually, I think Champion Belt is well worth the investment here. And I've kind of stopped worrying about getting our donation mas machine uh, all the way back to 999. I'm realizing that, you know, 767 is pretty darn good. We're not in a position where we're going to erode it completely. I mean, we were down to 100 like a month ago, so... Um, the, the position we're at right now feels a little bit more palatable, I think, and, and probably sustainable long-term. As long as, you know, most of the time when we have a lot of money and a donation machine, that's that's good. We donate as much money as we can. It's no problem. As for uh, how this run looks right now, I mean, obviously I'm hoping we get a deal with the devil on this floor. That would go a long way towards making me feel a little bit better, but I, I feel really good about it so far in every sense except for it being not so good for HP. That's pretty much it right now. Uh, if we could get a couple of uh, red hearts or something ridiculous like Abaddon or Nine Lives, then I would pretty much, you know, sign the waiver that says I think this is a one run, but we're not quite there yet. And uh, what really worries me is the idea that we can get some bad pills, like, stacked up in a row. You know, if we get a, uh, if we get, like, a health down pill followed by a bad trip pill, we're not too far away from complete and utter failure. I'll, uh, why not? Let's check out the shop. It could be a library. It's not a library. It's a shop. Either way, it's okay. Um, I don't think we want anything. We may end up wanting slash needing the Spirit Heart. But I'm hoping that we find like a Tinted Rock in advance so we don't have to buy it from the shop at a premium. Instead, we can get like, you know, just trade one bomb for it. That seems a little bit more palatable to me. Palatable to me. I don't think that Sharp Plug really gives us much of a benefit with uh, Yum Heart unless we have Scapular and some HP to go around. So... Not Scapular, sorry. The Wafer and some HP to go around. Scapular could help as well, but it's kind of beyond my, my feeble intellect to calculate that right now. That's uh, more of a Cobalt Streak-esque problem right now. With some practice, maybe we'll get there. That's the first time we've been hit, I think, by any enemy on this run. So, again, that's it's kind of feeding into my confidence right now. That is Dead Onion, which is really going to slow down our uh, our shot speed and lower our effective range. But it does give us, like, proper piercing shots, which we didn't have before. We just had spectral shots that look occasionally like piercing shots. And, um, you know, the extra hitbox is nice as well. Hopefully we can get, like, not... Blue cap here. <laughs> Ideally not blue cap, I guess. Uh, would be nice. And we should be doing basically double damage to these guys now. It did take a hit. It's not gonna compromise our deal with the devil, but it might completely destroy our ability to take a deal with the devil. Oh, Jesus. They actually got very close to killing me there. Ghost baby! Hi-yo! <laughs> That's uh, terrible. We should really go back and buy that spirit heart now. Uh, and because we're like really ahead of schedule, I, I do want to explore the rest of the floor. I really thought, I was like, maybe we won't go to the... Maybe we won't buy the spirit heart right away. I mean, what could it possibly hurt? And then I was like, we're on one. We have one win right now. Let's not fuck it up before it gets like... Even the chance to live a wonderful life here, you know? That's the kind of, like, stupid plays that can occasionally, uh, you know, just lead to, like, a 10% greater chance of you losing a run on a particular floor, and then you lose the whole streak, and then you get, uh, salty about it. And here I am. Here I am, basically. Maggie run should be fine, just a little bit salty about the lack of HP. Apart from that, it's great. Um, well, good, at least. Great is maybe a little bit of a, a misnomer, but we have flying, one guppy piece. Great assortment of familiars just waiting for uh, BFFs to take me away from this town where we really want to go and we'll walk in the sun. But till then, tramps like us. Baby, we were born to run. I don't know. That's like old Bruce Springsteen. Not not like classic Bruce Springsteen. That's Bruce Springsteen when he turns 100 years old. Which I think he will, man. He looks like he's in pretty good shape, you know. He could be a, a centenarian rock star, I'm sure. Not a centaur. That's something completely different. Pheromones? Yes. Where's my guppy chance? This was a, a bit of a colossal disappointment, I have to admit. Alright. Pheromones is going to make these guys super easy. And then our final wave is these guys. I actually thought it was going to be the Larry Senior, which would have been a little easier. But this was still very easy in its own right. And we get nothing to show for it. Sweet! Onwards to the next floor, I suppose. Or should we maybe check out this big room? We're still so far ahead of the schedule for Boss Rush, if that's something we're interested in. Maybe we should check out this big room and just see if maybe there's some some beauty to be had there. I just want to keep myself in a position where um, there are, like, chasms in the way. As long as there's chasms in the way, 
I should be able to avoid these guys easily. Thank you for not being bad trip, at least. I'm going to try to blow up four of these mushrooms and just see if we get lucky. Nothing. We'll save the other one because the Tinted Rock is a more guaranteed chance to get Spirit Hearts. It's one of those runs where I gotta admit, I'm, I'm starting to get a little salty over the lack of HP because we've only been hit like twice. Maybe three times now. But being hit three times on three floors is not a poor performance to be in the situation we're in where it's like, you know, we have no HP. It feels real bad. I'm gonna even take this opportunity to look for maybe an Eternal Heart or a, uh, a Demon Heart right here. Oh, it did end up being in there, and then we got teleported away. And we get pills. No bad trip. Telepills. That's incredibly annoying. Now we're going to be behind schedule for boss rush, but I'm mostly just concerned about survival. Two lemon parties. Range down. Balls of steel. Balls of steel, very helpful. Range down. Quite terrible, actually, because we have a uh, dead onion. But uh, we'll, we'll try to make the best of it. The two extra spirit hearts help out a lot. Oh, my gentle George of the Jungle. Can you please stop moving me from room to room? Curse, curse, curse of the maze now. Annoying as it can be. We finally made it. We finally made it. Down to the next floor. Don't stop me now. I'm ready. Well, we could just teleport out of this room after opening everything. I don't really want to fight Mega Fatty. I know this is not maybe the ideal use for uh, the Fool card, but I think it's a valid use of the Fool card. So I'm happy with that. I'm just, I'm going through like these items in my head that could be nightmarish for us right now. I'm like, shit man, if we get Eve's Mascara, <laughs> our shots are going nowhere. If we get like number one, our shots are going nowhere. So we gotta be very careful with items that we pick up. Like it would not be the worst idea to just take an extra second and be like, hmm. Does this item possibly have any terrible synergies uh, based on the fact that we have terrible shot speed and, and incredibly poor effective range right now? And if we say no, then that's great. That's fantastic. You know, we uh, we can go on living our life in, in happiness and harmony. We will go back to check that out, but just wanted to get out of that room while the, the turrets were still firing. When the sun is shining, make hay, and when the turrets are firing, uh, get the fuck out of there, please. All right. I mean, they're going to start firing again in a second, but we can do that. Chariot card, very good. Could use it on a blood bank, could use it to fight uh, an enemy or a room that we're not a big fan of. I mean, you know the, the implications of the chariot card at this point in your life, I'm sure. Probably got pretty lucky to not take damage there, so I'm excited about that. Um, very slow, I'll admit we're not, not quite as fast as I would like. Could come back to bite us in the ass on some enemies later. For now, it's not so bad, but, you know, things change as the game gets further and further along. Yes. Yes, okay. This is why you open golden chests. <laughs> the chance for a Tammy's head and the chance for a Cricket's head or a Guppy's head. You know, very various head-related items in there. Uh -huh -huh. Um, This should be a secret room. Just looks like the secret room template. And we got three bombs out of it, which is good. So we can still open a Tinted Rock if we find one. I haven't been as vigilant on this floor about looking for Tinted Rocks. I probably should be. You know, four Spirit Hearts can turn into two Spirit Hearts real quickly. Tempting room to use Chariot on, but not tempting enough to get me to actually do it. Probably should have taken a hit there. And we have not seen our item room, I believe. I always forget with Curse of the Lost, though. I find it hard to keep it uh, straight in my brain what we've seen and what we haven't seen. I don't think we've seen our shop, either. Or at least I haven't gone in. Surprisingly large floor, actually. All I want on this floor is, like... I guess literally HP. <laughs> if I can get an all stats upgrade, even better. But I was like, well, I want HP, but I also want some damage from a deal with the devil. It would be awesome if we got, like, a nine lives brimstone deal with the devil. Obviously, that's, like... An unbelievable turn of events. I can't justify taking the poop over Yumheart. I realize that we have nothing to do with Yumheart right now, but the poop, it's just not going to have the same kind of impact. Yumheart at least could have an incredible impact if we get some red hearts. Poop is not going to do anything for us. We don't even have petrified poop. We do have Liberty Cap, though, which I'm pretty stoked about. This has got to be our right direction here. Probably should have taken damage there again, but uh, lucky us, I guess. Balls of steel. Oh, we're at two deal with the devil territory here if we get lucky. 
this is our shop. At least it should be our shop. Would have expected a library to be a little bit closer to the entrance. Um, sure. You know what? I'll take a steam sale. Pays dividends. It also takes us up to, uh, well, it gives us the ability to easily get to seven spirit hearts, which is totally to deal with the devil territory if we get lucky. All we need to do is not squander too much on this boss fight. And it's Carrion Queen, who is super annoying and will definitely punish our lack of speed. But we're very lucky that we have, uh, like, relatively high damage piercing shots. A little shove kind of factors in there as well. Um, so we can land shots, even if we don't specifically target the, the tail, we should be able to land shots easily. This is like, Dead Onion's lack of range has now completely, like, redeemed itself in my mind, because... Carrion Queen otherwise can be one of the most annoying bosses uh, at this stage in the game, without a doubt. Experimental treatment, fantastic. Uh, huge fan. Well, we got teleported to the deal with the devil. Where we picked up two spirit hearts. Could be worse, I guess. Let's take it. I know, I know, it could backfire so hard. Our shots seem much bigger. Range seems a little worse. Bigger shots, to me, means probably better shots, but, I, you know, I could be mistaken there. Um, and we got HP out of it. The reason I take experimental treatment in that situation is because I'm like, with, with zero HP, zero red hearts at least, it can't actually take HP away. I don't think it gives you a better chance of getting HP. Like, I don't think it gives you a 100% chance. You might think that at first blush, but, uh, I don't believe that that's the case. However, it means that you're insulated from the negative cost, right? It's like if somebody said, hey, here's $500 of my own money, uh, place a bet on the roulette table. Like, you can still lose, but you have no money to lose. It doesn't raise your chances that you win, it just means that if you lose, you don't suffer an actual penalty. Unless the guy's gonna, like, break your kneecaps if you lose or something like that. In which case, you know, you should probably clear up the terms of engagement before you actually engage in the gambling itself. That seems like a pretty shitty deal to me. But, um, I guess if you win, you got nothing to worry about if you think you can manipulate the odds. I specifically asked for not this item. Um... Well... That's Curse of the Blind, uh, doing its magic, basically. We're gonna have to be quite cautious. Every range upgrade now means a lot. Oh, that's got a- two Guppy items? One's Guppy's head, one's Guppy's paw. One's Guppy's paw, we are now Guppy. I'd like to keep my Red Heart, though. Um, but we should- Or Yum Heart, I should say. No, no, I meant Red Heart, yeah. But we'll- we'll take the flies with us as well. So now that we've become Guppy, you know, it's- It's good, but bad, right? Like, we're in this- Unique situation where we have no range, basically, but we should have an awful lot of, of killing power. Stopwatch, didn't mean to buy it, but hey, number one, kind of fucked us, and then the stopwatch may sort of save us here. Not that we need saving, considering we're already guppy as well. Uh, this, it'll probably finish the job, but... Or probably guarantee a win, I should say, but still. It's kind of suboptimal here, but Curse of the Blind deal with the devil, maybe? Nope. Just, uh, lunch for an HP upgrade. We're gonna head down to the next floor because we actually do have a genuine chance of getting into and maybe out of this boss rush as well. Uh, I feel a little guilty that we took the stopwatch, but that's kind of the price you pay. Like, with Curse of the Blind, what am I supposed to do? I can't really guarantee that we don't get the stopwatch. I would not have taken number one in that situation either, but I think it's, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're set here. Um, just keep moving. The flies are gonna do our, our dirty work for us. Now I don't care about BFF as much as I care about... Uh, Picking up Hive Mind, which would give us like a super easy win. We have Steam Sale, and it is a Greed Fight, which is not unexpected. A little bit salty, we're not going to get an item or the ability to donate, but who am I to complain about that right now? Considering we just became Guppy with kind of like the world's greatest curse room. Paralysis. Still have the Chariot. I mean, I don't really want to fight Boss Rush. Because as strong as we are, you know, we're still going to take damage on those rooms. We, basically because our range is, is garbage. And because I lose concentration sometimes. But, uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Might want to play you for some HP. HP that maybe we should just be happy to give away if we get a an item like Brimstone again. That gives us the ability to basically ignore the fact that our range is super shitty. I can't stress enough how bad our range is. If we got Cricket's body, we would be like... Unable to hit anything that's even in front of our face, so... Uh, I'm a little scared. Telepills gives us the way to get out of this boss rush. I'm excited. Ipecac! We can't. As much as I would love to, I, I actually cannot take this or we'll die. This is not like a, oh, Northern Lion, you're not respecting the, you know, sanctity of absurdity. We will actually die if we take Ipecac. Look at our range. Every time we shoot, we'll explode. 
As much as I would love to take Ipecac, I love the item. I don't think I, I don't think that's on trial here. Um, I, I can't do it, or we're done, basically. I'll play you, though. Um, like, there, there will be no way for me to succeed, unless I also get Pyromaniac or something. It, as far as I'm concerned, that Ipecac payout is basically, uh, it's Suicide King right now. Only Suicide King could at least give us some items. Come on, give me, uh, give me Compass. That is not Compass, that is the World card, which I will, eh, probably should have saved, but whatever. What about this one? Card against humanity. Uh, not interested. Not without petrified poop anyway. If you don't pay out with anything, I'm gonna be extremely disappointed. I thought it would be just in time. Hagalaz rune. Yuck. Um, let's do this. Obviously, mom's gonna go down in no time flat here. Like, I'm, I'm working it through in my brain, trying to figure out if there's any way I could use Ipecac without dying, and I honestly just don't think there is. Like, in order to summon flies to kill things, I will need to shoot I Ipecac, which will hurt me every single time. I don't really want uh, Krampus's head, unfortunately. Not like Lump of Coal would do that much for us. Oh shit, it's Pyromaniac. This is great, because the wafer's good. Uh, technology would allow us to ignore the fact that we don't do we don't have any range, but Pyromaniac also allows us to use Ipecac, so... I have to take that, just because the game is being too kind to me. That's an extremely good get. Uh, you know what? We probably could have survived. Now that I look at it, it looks like Ipecac, because the shots go up in the air, has kind of affected my range positively. How else could I have known that, though, you know? Uh, Card Against Humanity, Hagalaz. We'll take Chariot. I don't think it makes a difference either way. That is our second secret room, even though the music sounds different. Because of stopwatch, 48 hour energy is fine. Range down is not. Lemon party is fine. Telepills. Uh, I think we'll take lemon party. Not that we'll probably need it to kill enemies, but why not? I mean, it was either that or um, maybe telepills, but I don't know what we're going to do with telepills. We could teleport out of a curse room, but what do we care, basically? Like, we're, we're in such a good position either way. So now that we get healed from Ipecac shots, like... We should be a little bit afraid to get in, because it still hurts, but, uh, like, the bombs don't hurt. But we don't want enemies to touch us, because that'll hurt. Uh, two red chests. I think we should go through with it. And we got one spirit heart. Honestly, as far as I'm concerned, that's probably worth it. We're also generating, like, a good amount of flies here. Loki? Loki followed by Chubb. Oh my god, one fly, like, did enough damage to finish the job here. So, I'm feeling really positive about our chances of success here. I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, trying to figure out where the boss is, but... We didn't even need to resort to using uh, Liberty Cap for that. Just kind of came to us in a dream here. Mr. Fred, no, double gate. This should be interesting. Well, one shot was enough to basically summon enough flies to finish the job, if it didn't finish the job itself. And we get Torn Photo, which is awesome, and a deal with the devil. We have 3 HP, and it doesn't matter, because everything here is going to be free and or terrible. I'll take Guppy's Tail, why not? Range down, 48 hour energy. Lots of those so far. I mean, not the best with Guppy's Head, but considering how much damage our flies do, I'm not really going to complain about it. This is going to end up being an easy one, and we're, we can already sort of look ahead to that cane run. Who boy, we're going to have a two streak. Curse of the Maze. Annoying, but... Uh, not a not a huge deal if we can just get maybe Liberty Cap to tell us where the heck we should be going here. Can't stress enough that our flies are basically winning the day for us here. I did this Isaac run because I was like, oh shit, the Nuclear Throne Daily doesn't roll over for like an hour. But then this run's going to be over in like 30 minutes. I guess I'll sneak in another Isaac run maybe before the Nuclear Throne run for today comes back. Fine by me. We're going to get uh, Dark Judas on that cane run anyway, guaranteed. That was me prophesizing in the hopes that it would, it would actually work out for us. I don't know, though. Sometimes when you prophesize, and sometimes when we touch the honesties too much, but uh, sometimes when you prophesize it ends up coming true, people get suspicious. Obviously, Northern Lion just pre-plays his seeds in advance to pick the best ones. That's why he did, uh, you know, seven or eight lost runs that he fucked up in order to get to that good one that he knew was there. Uh, we, we got uh, Curse of the Blind, which cancels Curse of the... Or not Curse of the Blind, what am I talking about? Black Candle, which compromises uh, Curse of the Maze, or cancels it out, rather. 
Uh, unfortunately, I still don't know where to go. Liberty Cab's not being uh, too forthwith about the uh, actual direction of the boss fight here. But I guess I can't really complain because the floor is probably like 70% dead already. Telepills. Sure, I got telepills. I know I said, what am I going to do with telepills? But I guess on a future floor, we can use these to try to teleport to a boss fight. Or even an error room on the chest could be fun. Not interested. A little interested, but I'm going to say I'm not interested at least. What I love about this is every Ipecac shot that lands summons like four flies. And four flies is enough to kill almost the entirety of any single room that we can get our hands on. So, uh, I'm having a hard time believing. That might be... I thought it was balls of steel. I'm having a hard time believing that this one is going to come back to bite us in the ass uh, at any point. Like, I, I don't think there's any ass biting to be done here. Triple A battery, I don't think does anything for us. Alright, I didn't even get a chance to do anything there. No curses, so we'll just wait for Liberty Cap to give us, uh, like, the compass effect. I want to use telepills on the next floor so we could get uh, more items if possible. You know, it'd, it'd be like using Undefined, basically. I don't know why I almost walked into that enemy, but come on. Liberty Cap! Juice me up! This is the whole reason I took you, is that you can occasionally give us the ability to see where we're going without having earned it at all. That would be a nice uh, small rock opportunity there. I don't know why I decided to go in and fight a mini boss. Uh, it's not going to be the end of the world, but it is kind of a waste of my time. Don't think twice, it's alright. Two spirit hearts, might as well. It's amazing, you know, we never really got to the HP cap or above on this run. And, and normally winning runs do touch that point at some point. We never really got there, but I guess turns out when you're this powerful you don't really need to get there. Hopefully it's just like maybe up and to the right there. And pretty much we just lucked into it here. If we had not gotten to boss rush uh, and didn't have the option to take Pyromaniac, we wouldn't have been in this situation. But I, it's also worth noting, you know, technology could have been fun too. I don't know if it would have been nearly as good. The wafer ended up being kind of like the odd one out because it's just not worth anything for us, unfortunately. Like, we have not taken damage. If we take Pyromaniac, we literally cannot die as long as we're not idiots about it. So I'll take like the inability to die over the f ability to take half damage instead of full damage any day of the week. This should be a library, I guess. Yeah, we got Book of Sin. Which is the best item in here and is pretty terrible for us. We could take the other ones out of the rotation, but let's be honest. They're pretty unlikely to bite us in the ass. Unlike that golden chest, <laughs> which I'm a little perturbed about. I forgot we also had the stopwatch, which, you know, you should know your run is powerful when you can forget that you have, like, the most powerful item in the game. Oh my god. Yeah, eh, two extra bombs. I'm glad we opened it up, I guess, but, man, I didn't think that we would be able to kill, uh, Blue Baby that quickly, or Isaac that quickly. We'll see how quickly we can kill, uh, Blue Baby. Piggy Bank. Homing Bombs, PhD, Isaac's Jar of Tears. Um, got a Balls of Steel pill that's effectively worthless. How about Isaac's Tears? You think those? You think that's better than Guppy's Head for us? I think it could be. I'd, like, I'm, I'd be surprised if it was particularly good, but we might as well give it a shot. Like, if it's ever going to be good, this is probably our chance. And what I really like about it is the fact that it can maybe summon a few more flies than we would otherwise get quickly. Like, because we have six shots going out instead of just the one. We're actually getting a lot less flies for not having Guppy's head. I kind of assumed that, like, three flies from Guppy's head was not really that many. Or maybe we just eroded most of our fly army on the Isaac fight. I don't know. Don't really care about bum friends. I barely get a chance to even charge up Isaac's Jar of Tears on each individual room here. Uh, definitely won't get a chance there. Two chests. These are our last two keys. Oh my god! Yes, Proptosis. I'm interested. Uh, Isaac's heart, why not? Because we have Pyromaniac anyway. I'm assuming that this Proptosis pickup is going to help us out a little bit. And there we go. Looks like our boss fight is over here. Oh, Death's Touch as well. Uh, thanks for <laughs> thanks for uh, the offer. Don't mind if I do. And another chest. Unfortunately, we can't open this one because I wasted some keys. This is pretty ridiculous. Let's, let's kill uh, Blue Baby. Our shots explode like faster... Like, they explode before they even get close to touching him. I don't know. They go in reverse also when I use Isaac's Jar of Tears, which is very strange to me. But uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time with the Cane Run. See you then.